what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Lauded for her African beauty, Nefertini is one of the most famous queens of ancient Egypt which is why today shows more Caucasian looking bust left many people scratching their heads. Using preserved remains, modern technology and so-called painstaking artistry, a team led by expedition unknowns, Josh Gates presented a reconstruction of what King Tut's mother would have looked like. This version of Nefertini has skin that looks freshly tanned as opposed to a skin of tone someone born with sun-kissed pigment in her DNA. The rosy pink lips are in permanent pout and the hazel eyes shimmer under the studio lights. When most people think of ancient Egypt queens, they think of elegant, powerful women with beautiful brown skin. The most famous representation of Nefertini is a bust believed to have been made by the sculptor Thutmose around 1345 BC. That bust is housed in a German museum. It shows a much browner version of Nefertini with slightly fuller lips painted a deep cranberry. She is beautiful and very much lives up to her name, which means the beautiful one has come forth. Now y'all know damn well that ain't Nefertini. Did you see that face? Looks like Pig from the Bundys. Now look here, man. I can't say that I know with absolute certainty what Nefertini looks like, but I know damn well she wasn't Caucasian. I mean, that's common sense. That's backed up with scientific proof. So all of this trying to whitewash history, trying to constantly change history, I don't know what it is about Egypt, but they really want Egypt to be theirs. They're really trying to claim Egypt. I mean, these new guys. <laughs> it's crazy. Incredible. They're going to try to tell us that Nefertini was white in the blackest month of the year. Come on, man. Y'all couldn't wait till March? This is the very definition of fake news. Falsities, alternative facts, whatever you want to call it. Got Nefertini out here looking like Heather from Iowa. Man, these people will stop at nothing. Do you hear me? Why you always got to make it about race? Always about race. Race, race, race. What question? If she was Asian, would it make a difference then? Of course it would. It's always about race. Let me tell you something. They make it about race when they discriminate try to whitewash history and deny the truth. You make it about race when you get offended after the truth is pointed out to you. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.